everyone, I hope you're going well. Welcome back to a, another full body workout. Um, today we're going to do uh, lower body, upper body and core. So just like majority of the workouts that I take you through, we are gonna be focusing on a lot of different muscle groups. So um, like always, I'll show you what the workout includes um, and then we'll get started with a warm up. Okay, so here we have what we are going to go through today. First of all, our warm up is going to be push ups, tricep push ups, regular squats, sumo squats, reverse lunges, lateral lunges, plank ups, and side plank dips. And we're going to do six of each um, and do that two times. Then, moving on to our first circuit, which is lower body, we're going to be doing kettlebell squats, single leg glute bridges, kettlebell deadlift, and regular glute bridges. Ten reps of each, three rounds. If you don't have a kettlebell with you, you can also use a barbell or dumbbells for the weighted exercises. Then we're moving on to the second circuit, which is upper body. We've got a bent over row, shoulder press, bicep curl, and a lying down tricep extension. I will be using a barbell for each of these exercises. However, it can be done with um, dumbbells um, and either a lighter sort of kettlebell as well. And also that's gonna be three rounds. And then moving on to the third circuit, which is our core circuit, we will be doing a plank rock for 30 seconds, single leg raises for 30 seconds, plank side twist for 30 seconds, and bicycle crunches for 30 seconds, and three rounds of that one as well. All right. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we have push-ups, downward on the ground. I will be going onto my knees, and doing lower body, upper body, push-ups to start which is your hands are out a little bit wider than your shoulder width okay so I'm going to be down on my knees but you can choose whether you want to do knees or toes making sure that the hips are down we come all the way down to the ground and back up all right core on nice and tight all the way down straight back up we're going for six let's do another four one two three four Okay, and then tricep push-ups. Instead of having your hands out here, you're gonna bring them in closer and keep your elbows tucked into the side of your body as well. So again, you're gonna choose whether you want to do knees or toes. Keep the elbows tucked in, all the way down and back up. Two, three, four, five, and six. All right, then standing up, regular squats to start. Feet at shoulder width apart. We come down as low as we can. Straight back up. We'll show you side on. Down nice and low. Straight back up. We're going for six. That's two, three, four, five, and six. Then sumo squat. The feet come out wide, toes face out. We come down and keep the knees out as well. Straight back up, down. Good. We'll do another three. One, two, three. Awesome. Reverse lunge. Take a giant step back, down to the ground, and bring it back up. Swap legs. Big step back, down to the ground, and back up. Keep alternating. So we're only doing six reps at a time here, so it's really not too much. Near lateral lunges. We step out, bring it down, my hips go back, one knee is bent, one is straight, and then we come up and switch. Just like this, make sure your feet are facing forward the whole time. Okay, and plank ups, down to the ground again. I'm gonna be on my toes this time. Just like this, I'll show you this way. Then we come up to the hands, back down to the elbows. Up, down. That's three. Switch, four, five, and six. Okay, then here, we're going to go on our side. So hard to show. All right, this way. Okay, so one foot on top of the other, forearm on the ground, hips up. Arm up, we drop the hips down, and back up. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then we switch, and then we go the other way. Same thing. One, two, woo. three, four, five, six. Okay, so that is one round. Then we just start from the beginning, we go through it again. Regular truss, regular push ups to start. I'm gonna be on my knees, hands are out wider than my shoulders. Come all the way down and back up. All right, six reps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then your hands are gonna come in closer. Keep the elbows tucked in for six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Standing up, regular squats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Feet out wide. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, and lateral lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plank ups. One, two, three, switch sides. Four, five, six, and then plank side dips. Arm up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch sides. Arm up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And rest. Perfect. All right. Grab yourself a drink. We're going to move on to the first circuit. So for this first circuit, you're going to need a kettlebell. Um, you can also do it with a barbell as well or some dumbbells. However, I'm going to be using this uh, kettlebell. And then for our glute bridges, I'm going to be doing body weight. Feel free to add some weight across your lower stomach if you want to. Um, however, I'm just going to be going body weight for this one. So you just need your weight of choice and a bit of space on the floor as well. Okay, so to start, 10 kettlebell squats. So I'm going to be holding my weight in front of me. Show you side on. Coming down to the ground and back up. So holding the weight in front means you should go as low as you can so that the weight touches the floor. And standing back up. Okay, so let's go. We're going for 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect. Put that one to the side. Come down to the ground. Single leg glute bridge is first. So we're going to lie on the floor. Put your hands out to the side. Lift one leg up. And we're going to be pushing through this leg here. Okay? So we have one leg on the floor. And that's where we're pushing up. To bring your hips nice and high. And back down. Up. Down. We're going 10 on each side. Where we go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we switch. Other leg comes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Then we stand back up. Picking up your kettlebell again. For a deadlift. <coughs> so it's always easier for me to show you side on how a deadlift goes. It's very different to a squat, okay? You're going to hinge at the hips 
in a deadlift and a squat, you bend at the knees and come down this way. So a deadlift, keep the weight close to you, back and straight, a slight bend in the knee, but we're more hinging here at the hips. To pick the weight up, stand up straight, and come back down so the weight touches the floor. Back up and down. We're gonna go for 10. Where you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, weight comes down. Back down to the floor, glute bridges again. However, it's just regular glute bridges this time. Both feet on the ground, hands still out to the side, and push the hips up. Nice and high, squeeze the glutes here at the top, and then relax as you come down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and rest. Awesome! Okay. So that is our first round of circuit number one. Grab yourself a drink now if you need to. Bring a kettlebell or weight of choice back out because we're going through it again. For round number two, starting with weighted squats. Okay. Three, two, and where we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down to the ground. Single leg glute bridge. Last 
last part for our lower body circuit. Glute bridges, 10 more reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and done. Woohoo! Good work! All right, that is our circuit one complete. Now we move on to the upper body. So for this part, I'm gonna be using a barbell for all four exercises. Feel free to use either dumbbells or maybe a kettlebell can work as well. Um, but yeah, I'll be using the barbell. So, first one is a bent over row. So we're gonna get into the same position we were just in for our deadlift. We hold the weight in front, we stay bent over, and we bring the weight up to your chest. And back down, up, down, up, down. So we're gonna go for 10 reps. Make sure that when you are bringing the weight up, you're squeezing through your shoulder blades. Okay, so squeeze from the back and then relax as you come back down, still keeping your back straight the whole time. All right, so 10 reps, three, two, and away we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Lovely. Number two is a shoulder press. You're going to hold your weight at your shoulders. We lift up above the head as high as you can get it. Straight back down. Bring up, down. Show your side on. Up and down. All right, we're going for ten reps. Three, two, and away we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Bicep curl is number three. Underhand grip. Curl all the way up. Keep the elbows tucked in and extend all the way down. Ten reps. One, two. Make sure you're breathing every rep. Three, four. Five, core are nice and tight as well. That's seven, three more. Eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Okay, this next one. It's a bit of a different exercise. We're going to lie down on the ground, holding on to your weight. All right, you're going to bend your elbows and bring the weight down behind your head and back up. So we are working the triceps here, which is the back of the arm. So if you imagine the tricep extension when you're standing up, a tricep overhead extension, it's a similar exercise, but we are lying down, we still bend the elbows, and then extend up. So give it a go, see how you go. We are going for 10, that's two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Okay. And then we go for round two. So bent over row again. Bend in the hips. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulder press. Bring the weight to your shoulders. We push up and back down. Where you go. Bicep curl, 10 reps. One, two, three, four. Make sure your elbows stay glued to the side of your body. Five more. One, two, three, four, 
five. All right, and then we are back down to the ground for our tricep extension. So this can be done with a lighter kettlebell as well, um, and also a dumbbell. You would just hold one dumbbell with both hands, bring behind the head just like this, and extend back up. Or you can use a pump bar barbell. chosen single leg. Right, then plank side twist. Right, I've incorporated this into a few of my PT sessions in the last uh, maybe three or three or four months. So if you've had the uh, joy of trying this one, then that is awesome. We start like this and we go up and up. And we just keep rotating like this for our 30 seconds. Then we have bicycle crunches. Good old classic bicycle crunches. Lie on your back, opposite elbow to knee, and just bringing the body across. So we're rotating this way, rotating this way. Make sure you get that twist through the middle. 
All right, so that is our four exercises. We're going to do 30 seconds of each, 45 second rest in between each round, and three rounds to finish off. All right, so just getting my timer ready so we can start. First one is a plank rock. So we're gonna start forearms and toes, and we're going to rock side to side. All right, three, two, and away we go. Up on the tippy toes, just moving your hips side to side. We are working through the obliques. This, this, we are working through the obliques here. So we just need to move your hips as much as you can. We're at 17 seconds. 20. 25. And rest. Lovely. Okay. Single leg raises. 30 seconds, three, two, and let's go. Bringing both legs up to start, extend one out, bring it back up, two. Just doing as many as you can in the amount of time. We're halfway, make sure you keep breathing. Deep, slow breaths. And rest. Awesome. Okay. Plank side twist. Do 30 seconds. Doing as many reps as you can. Way we go. Bring it up. Bring the forearm down to the ground. Rotate up to the other side. And up. Slow and controlled. We don't need to rush it. Okay, keep going. We are at 20 seconds. 25. And rest. All right, bicycle crunches. Three, two, and away we go. Just keep the shoulder blades up off the ground. Keep breathing. Keep going. So end of round one, coming up. We're at 18 seconds. 25. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, we should be feeling a bit of a burn here. Okay, grab a drink. We've got two more rounds to go. If you've come this far, you're doing very well. <laughs> All right, plank rock. Are we ready? Three, two, and let's go. Five seconds. 
seconds. Three, two, one. Well done. Okay, bicycle crunch. End of round two. They're coming around fast. drop to level two so I will be doing these workouts still for the next three weeks and hopefully no longer 
because we'll all be back in the gym. But um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed your workout. And I'll see you next time. Bye.